I took off the top plate to be able to show you uh, the VTX uh, and show you how to set it up. You won't have to take off the top plate because the only thing that you have to touch is this button right here which should be accessible. Uh, so it's pretty simple interface. Uh, you have a button that you can short press uh, to change the value um, and then long press to change uh, which menu option you're on. Uh, and if you look at this card that came with uh, the VTX, uh, it shows you uh, which menu, what value, what are the values and, and what the menu options are. Uh, so you, you actually have a red light or an orange light that will blink once or twice or three times, uh, each of those corresponding to a different menu option. And as you can see here, uh, it says red LED, and then for the one blink, it says channel. For two blink, it's band. And then for three, it's power. Uh, so if you're on channel, the channel menu, the orange will blink, and then the blue will blink the number of times for the value. So one blink on orange showing that you're on the channel. And then blue, if you're on channel one, will just blink once. If you're on channel eight, it'll blink eight times. Uh, and then for band, it'll blink two times on the orange showing that you're on the band menu. Uh, and then it'll either blink once for, as it says here, band A, twice for band B, or it'll blink three times if you're on band E, four times for fat shark, uh, five times for race band, and six times for low race. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And when we plug it in, uh, you'll notice that it'll actually go through all the menu options to tell you the current settings. So if we plug in, we'll see first one orange and then one blue blink. Now we see two orange blinks, one blue blink and then three orange blinks and one blue blink. Uh, so the first one was one orange and one blue blink, meaning channel menu, and the value of channel one, just one blue blink. Two blinks, orange, band, one blink, meaning band A, and then three blinks for power, and then one blink for the 25 milliwatts. Uh, so, to switch menu options, as I said before, you just long press until both lights come on. So hold, and then a single blink. Uh, so now that you see a single orange blink, we are on the channel menu. So if I quick press it, I'll go ahead and do that now. You, there was one extra orange blink when I tapped the button, and now the blue blink blinks twice, and if I go ahead and tap it again, oops, missed it. Uh, I'll wait until, okay. Click it. Now it's blinking one orange, three. So now I'm on channel three. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch now to the band. So if I long press, wait till the blue light comes on and let go. Now we see two blinks. One or, or two orange for the menu, and then one blue blink signifying the value of one in the band, which is band A. So to change the band, I just do a quick press. And now you'll see the two blue blinks. So two orange signifying the menu of band, and then the one blue blink signifying uh, two on here, which is band B. So to get to the third menu, we actually have to unlock uh, the VTX. So to do that, you have to be on the band menu, which we're currently on, and then you have to hold it, hold down the button. Uh, let me hold it down. Like you're doing a long press, but don't let go uh, when the other light comes on, just keep holding. And you have to hold this for 20 seconds. 
and that actually seems like a lot of long time when you're not doing very much. There you go, until just the orange comes on. So now we see three orange blinks. And that means we are on the the power setting, which is one of the which is the, one of the locked menu items. So finally, to save uh, what your settings, you have to long press and let go. Uh, and now, since it's unlocked, both these LEDs are on. Uh, and now, when I unplug and plug back in, it'll have all these settings saved. And since I've already unlocked uh, the VTX, I, I won't have to unlock it again. Um, and now I can cycle between the menu options. So long press to enter the menu. And so there you go. We're on the band, or sorry, the channel. And we are on one orange channel. One, two, three, four. Uh, channel four. So now, for those of you who might not be familiar with the races, uh, when we're given a frequency, uh, you're often just given a number, uh, such as, let's take a random one, uh, 5645. Uh, and sometimes you're given the channel as well, uh, which is ch channel four, but you might have to just find it on this card, the number. And so if you were given 5645, uh, you can see how this lines up to the 4 up here, so channel 4, and band E. Um, and so band E, if we look up here, is three blinks. Um, but first, let's get to the correct channel, and we're actually already there. One, two, three, four. Oops, let's check. One, two, three, four. Yep, four blinks. So if we, if we wanted to get to channel 5, we could just do a quick press to change channel, uh, but we're on the right channel, so let's go ahead and long press to get to the band menu. So we're on band one. So we need to get to band. Band E is three blue blinks. So we need to quick press two times to increase. So quick press once, quick press again. And now, there's the three blue blinks, so we're on the correct band. And so let's long press again. And now we're on the power option. So you see three blinks and then one blue blink, meaning that we're on 25 milliwatts, which is what we want to be on for races. Uh, so let's long press one more time. And that setting is now saved. And we can go ahead and unplug. And now if we plug in again, you'll see as it cycles through here that we are on those saved settings that we had before. Uh, and so we are now on 5645 band E, channel four. Um, it's something to be aware of, not everyone, the bands don't always necessarily line up uh, some some uh, receiver video receivers uh, call band A differently depending on and band B. Uh, they don't always necessarily agree, uh, but for the most part, the channels uh, always do match up correctly. Um, but that's why it's most important to follow the numbers. Make sure your receiver is set up on exactly on their number, and then your video transponder is set up on the exact number. And there you have it. That's how you set up your VTX.